welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Problem 3.3. This problem is a very easy problem. In this problem, it is given that knowing that d is equal to 1.2 inch, so you can see the figure over here. The outer diameter of uh, this hollow cylindrical shaft is given as 1.6 inch and inner diameter is given as d and this d is equal to 1.2 inch so you have to determine the torque that causes a maximum shear stress of 75 kilo ksi in the hollow shaft shown so we have given data the given data is that we have uh, Maximum sharing stress that is equal to 7.5 ksi layer. So we have uh, D2 outer diameter which is D2 and that D2 is equal to 1.6 inch. So C2 which is equal to radius of D2 which is equal to D2 over 2 and that is equal to 1.6 divided by which is equal to 0 0.8 inch similarly d1 is equal to d which is equal to 1.2 inch clear so c1 will be equal to d over 2 or d1 over 2 which is equal to 1.2 divided by 2 is equal to 0 0.6 inch also we have to find the torque T that can be applied to this shaft. So let's start with its solution. As we know that tau is equal to T into C divided by J. Again, this uh, torque will be equal to tau into J divided by C, where C is the uh, we see it will be equal to C2 because from center to the outermost which is C2. J is the polar moment of inertia of this hollow cylindrical shaft and we will find this. So J for this hollow cylindrical shaft is equal to pi by 2 into C2 key power 4 minus C1 key power 4. So that is equal to pi by 2 into C2 is equal to 0 0.84 minus 0 0.64 because C1 is 0 0.64 that is equal to J. When you calculate it the J value comes out to be 0 0.4398 inch 4. So this is the polar moment of inertia for this hollow cylindrical shaft. Now we will use the above formula which is this one, this torque is equal to ta into j divided by c. We have ta, uh, uh, ta maximum shear stress which is 7.5 ksi, so which is equal to 7.5 into j is 0 0.4398 and c is equal to c2 which is equal to 0 0.8. So when you solve this, the torque values comes out to be 4.12 kips into inch. Because we haven't changed the 7.5 ksi, we did not write 10 raised to power 3 over here. So definitely when you solve this, the answer will be into kip and as it is torque, so it will be kept into inch. So this was a an easy problem and that is the solution of the problem. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you. Problem 3.4. This problem is same as that of we solved in problem 3.3. But here the diameter is given as 0 0.9 inch. So given data was given data is uh, here torque is given 9 kips into inch c1 
which is inner radius so diameter of inner uh, diameter of inner circular is 0.9 so it will be equal to 0.9 divided by 2 which is equal to 0.45 inch similarly c2 which is equal to d2 over 2 and that is 1.6 over 2 is equal to 0 0.8 inch clear we have to determine the shearing stress here so we have to find the shearing stress maximum shearing stress and that is not known so let's start with its solution as we know that maximum shearing stress is equal to torque into c divided by j so C, C will be equal to C2 and we will find the J and we know that J is equal to pi by 2 into C24 minus C14. So pi by 2 C2 is 0 0.84 minus C1 is 0 0.45 and its power 4. So when you solve this, the polar moment of inertia for this hollow cylindrical shaft will be 0 0.5790 inch 4. Now we will put it in this formula. So Tom X will be equal to value of torque is given which is equal to 9 kips into C is 0 0.8 and J is 0 0.5790 so when you solve this maximum shear stress comes out to be 12.44 KSI so this was the answer of uh, problem 3.4 Again, this, uh, this was a very easy problem and I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching the videos.